Hi everybody, and welcome to Sniper Elite 4. Welcome back, I should say. Uh, thank you all for clicking on the video, it means a lot. Uh, just to get us out of the way at the start, can you please uh, like, comment, and subscribe? Uh, leave a like, just to show you, so you know, enjoy the video. You don't have to do it now, you can do it halfway through the video, and do it at the end. Anytime you like. And can you leave a comment down below, anything you want to say, I don't mind. And, uh, well, obviously, you know, keep it PG, but, uh, you know, keep it nice. But obviously, uh, anything, put any, uh, put anything you want down in the comments, and, yeah, I'll get back to you ASAP. And can you hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all of the future walkthroughs that I'm doing? Because, you know, there's a few uh, titles coming out at the end of the year. And I'll hopefully be doing some of them, or at least one, definitely one. But I'll be doing a few of the others, hopefully, as well. Anyway, now that that's out of the way... Uh, I did not realise you could change the reticules. Um, I'm probably just going to go for the default one. Alright, so... I'm going to have to sneak into this place. This radar facility, it looks like? Dinelli is jubilant with confirmation that Piero Capo has been neutralized. He's been as good as his word, and offered his full support. Guess for him it's a matter of honor. Not that the partisans necessarily want Dinelli's help. Many in the resistance have as much reason to despise the Mafia as they do the fascists. Weaver's informant has contacted him again. Major Hans Dorfman, one of Boehm's top men. His adjutant, no less. This time, he says he has information he must deliver in person. Says he knows where Kessler is. Okay. That's the lighthouse from Bioshock. Or at least, you know, a very small version of it. That is a tiny lighthouse. There's no point in building that lighthouse. Okay, what am I doing? Uh, go and talk to the radio operator. Red Fox calling Mother Hen. Red Fox calling Mother Hen. Receiving you, Red Fox. Magazino Coastal Facility, unusually successful at sinking Allied shipping. Neutralize naval guns and radar technology. Out. Red Fox out. Danelli not trust me? <laughs> You're our friend now, Carl. Signor Dinelli just wants to make sure you're safe. I nailed Piero Capo for him. I've done my part. You need to do yours. Help us. Help the partisans. Perhaps some um, information would convince you of our good intentions? Try me. The components from the dockyard. They were transported here. Interesting. Why? Who knows? <laughs> Perhaps the Germans are hiding something. We are friends now, huh? Sure we are. <laughs> Yeah, that guy... that guy's creepy. Dolphin. Where's uh, Weaver? Weaver should be somewhere around here. He's always lingering somewhere. There he is. Okay, let's go and see what Dolphin knows. Ah! The SOE Commando. <laughs> I should shoot you! Berlin would hear me as a big war hero. <laughs> Something tells me you're not interested in medals. Where's Andreas Kessler? We need him alive. Oh, Kessler is up at the coastal facility in Magazzino, buried with his books and booze. <laughs> Why should I trust you? Why would anyone trust a traitor? Weifer knows my intelligence is good. Was I not correct about the ammunition hall? You survived up, no? Small fry. 
Listen, Lieutenant, the, the war is becoming unpredictable. If the Allies push through... I get it. You're just hedging your bets. All I ask is you remember me. If and when... The time comes, Lieutenant. All right, uh, two down, well, three down. Radio Mafioso and Dolphin. Let's go and see what Weaver wants. Carl, things are hotting up. Kessler. Not just Kessler. The coastal facility at Magazino is a key code-breaking center. Let's find out how much Bohm's people know about the Allied plan, right? I'll see what I can do. What else? Well, Donnelly's as good as his word. He's got information for us. What is it? Bomb is a confidant. Goes by the name of Major Klaus Rothbauer. Those two have been in communication regularly. You think he knows Bohm's plans? Racing certainty, my friend. Let's go get him. Whoa, muchacho. Muchacho. Rothbauer's mansion is heavily fortified. Even for you, <laughs> it would be impossible. No, no, for now, let's... Focus on the coastal facility as our plan. Alright, you just sit there and eat that disgusting muck. I'm gonna go and kill a few Nazis and we'll call it a day. Just a little tidbit of information for anyone who didn't know. But uh, the OSS, what Carl here, the organization the Carl here works for, um, is the precursor for the CIA. There's more Here's this a little uh, factoid for you. Have to be careful. God, this place is just filled with Nazis. Obviously, it's a, it's a Nazi boot camp. I changed that, didn't I? No, no, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, oh. E. That was nice. This, this gun is usually quite unreliable, but uh, yeah, that was pretty accurate. Uh, first of all, let's see this nightmare of a map. Oh god, look at it. Um. Alright, that's the only main objective, so I'm thinking I might just focus on them. Because uh, you don't really get anything other than XP for doing <laughs> these like side quests. They don't really unlock anything later on in the game. Otherwise, I, that's, I, I do them, but you know, it's not like I do... Let me choose one at random. Like find a way to disable the radar dish and then in the next mission or two missions down the line you know, I unlock something or something happens. It's not like Hitman for but Hitman doesn't even do that. But you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna carve away I'm gonna head there, destroy the machines. I'm just gonna carve a straight line towards the facility. And snipe my way uh, through Nazis. Nazis. I just deflated his brain. Come on, show me to. Boom! Right through the neck. Ooh, right through the neck. That was nasty. Nasty! Hey, 
What's over here? There's one guy. Two guys coming this way. Ah, look, this guy's back. Oh, fuck. It really is just a worry and just the car for his teammates, you yeah. know. Ooh! A tank? I assume a tank did that. Okay, restart. Uh, do I, oh, I restarted right from the... Alright. I'll, I'll accept it. every damn shot. Alright, can I cut this guy? Oh! Right in the heart. Be careful, I don't, I don't know what blew me up the last time. So I assume he's either a tank out there. Who was this? Yeah, there's either a tank out there or. Maybe a. Oh, right. Oh, I saw that. Oh, what the hell? What was that? What has happened? I thought it don't understand what was there to shoot to kill me. But, uh, I smoke everywhere and fire so maybe it wasn't a tank maybe they, they hit something Sniping, I'm rel relatively safe at the moment. Oh, there's a lot of guys coming. What the? What? 
what is hitting me? I don't understand. I can't see anything. Like outside. In the near vicinity anyway. That will explain that sort of explosion then. That's happening around me. Okay, they're just going to keep coming in. I'm just going to keep gunning them down. One more left. One more just to save. Okay. Nice. Uh, so I'm about as safe here as I can be in a house filled with explosives that are on fire. I, guess, I don't think that's going to go up. Explode. explode. I think it, it already kind of has. Something's firing high explosive rounds at me, though. That much I can tell. Guy over there, I can't tell the way of it. Nope, he's gone. Oh. What's this then? This is the big uh, naval battery, I believe. So, let's blow it up. I don't do anything by half measures. Let's blow this up. Where do I go to plant the bomb? 
Oh, balls. I know, I blew this helmet off. There you go. No, I blew his head off. I really don't have an idea of where I'm going. I'm just winging it. I s uh, okay. This has to say, this has to destroy the naval. G oh, screw it. I'm just gonna go for the objective. Like the further into the game you the game you get, the sort of more intricate the maps become. And eventually it just becomes, yeah, you know, it just doesn't become worth it unless you're going for the XP. wonder if I'll get that promotion. Hello, boys. I am surrounded. No! I need... Ah, oh, you... myself up yeah it's it's not like the gameplay for this is fine but it, it, there is like some drawbacks like throwing at the grenade in like a third person camera is a bit weird it's a bit awkward especially in like when you're in sort of confined spaces like that one I'm a ghost killer. Ah, <laughs> oh, blood through the brain. 
brain and the nose. Okay, so everyone behind me is dealt with. I can move right into the compound. Can't find anything else. Destroying these will work. There's a lot of people down there. More than I was expecting. It kind of feels like I've wandered into the, like, the lab from Wolfenstein. It's just the glowing things that I've just be arcing off of. You know, super soldier will be walking around the corner with Doctor Death's head. hiding in that corner. Alright, maybe not all hiding. Okay, one more is coming at me. There you go, up here. Slow movement. Nope, down there, never mind. Oh, actually, no. Still. Ooh, right through the chest. There's one more. Two more. There's an endless supply of these guys. I don't know where they're coming from. I honestly thought I went through the gun barrel then. I was about to lose my shit. I was like, yes! Outside. Ah, what? No, no, what happened? Ah, oh, you've got me shitting me. No. No. Um, no, it's secondary, random secondary explosion. Alright. Alabama. That's fine, I can go and search these guys. I got an LMG. Is that LMG? Grabbed all I can.
Alrighty. Yeah, so, with these videos as well, I'm also choosing like, a topic to talk about, to chat about a little bit. And, um, this will be... This video I've chosen to talk about some of the mistakes I feel like I made when I first started my YouTube channel. Kessler must be fitting the guidance system with their ticket to the background. But how many have already been shipped? Eight. I'm guessing eight have already been shipped. Prove me wrong. Anyway, yeah, I'm guessing it's the mistakes I made when I first made my channel. Because I kind of uh, rushed it a bit. Because uh, originally I didn't, uh, I did, I did, I created a blog this just originally, very useful. and then decided because I had to create it for like e-commerce the uh, unit I was doing in university, in my course in university, and um, I just decided to make the blog a permanent thing, um, which I did for like a year. I released like reviews for games and whatnot, and then I decided to make the YouTube channel. And the YouTube channel, I kind of rushed into it. I feel like, looking back now, I didn't really have a proper um, uh, intro or a proper uh, name. Uh, even I chose Nova 19 because uh, Nova, Nova Incoming, I believe, was the name of the blog. There's a link to it on my channel, if anyone wants to check it out. I haven't posted there for a while, but uh, I, I used to post like reviews, so feel free. Um, but yeah, it was like I, I called it Nova 19 because I was 19 at the time. Yeah, I, I, not, I should have put more thought into the name. Really, I feel. And uh, I didn't really have a proper intro as well. So a lot of the videos just had this really awful sort of looking intro from uh, Windows Movie Maker. Do I leave now? What's going on? Ah, uh, do I need to do these, do I? Because I just assumed it was just the ones with the thing on. Uh, okay, let's do this one. Locate Kessler. Ten of them pouring in yet. Well, you know, the more I shoot, the more I'll have to face when I leave, I guess. Linger here for long. Grab all the shit that I can, and then I have to go and find where Kessler is. Nothing else to find. Yeah, because I didn't do all of that. Like all of the question marks in the last one, did I? Or did I? So find, find Kessler and disable the radar dish, and then all the others are optional. I see. All right, I can do this.
satchel bombs at the base would destroy it. Although I have to be prepared for some attention. Oh god. Oh, this has gone to shit. Well, oh, don't do that now. Don't, don't, don't do that now. Don't do this to me. Oh, you. Okay. Going up did not help me to do me any favors. So, uh, I have to find somewhere to hide. Gun them down, sight with with the well rod, and move up. With luck, I can do this before they get a chance to fire their guns. Ah, shit. That's not happening. Time to go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, let's try that again. Yeah, this is a very densely pop. Oh, okay. This is a very densely populated area. Going up the stairs, maybe? Yeah, kill that guy and go up the stairs. Let's try. Oh, you gotta be shitting me, that guy. There's a sniper somewhere. I can't tell where. There. There's the sniper. There's that prick with the flare gun as well. Uh, yeah, if it's not one thing, it's another. Okay, I need to take out that sniper. I can hold this area. N that uh, that approach will ultimately lead nowhere. Whoa! What? The hell? Where did that come from?
there's something here. And now that I've got some quiet time, I can take a look, see? But there's something in this area. That'll tell me where Kessler is. Andreas Kessler. Who the hell are you? You're coming with me. What's going on? Am I defecting? OSS seems to think you're very valuable. I hope they're right. Was that it? What? Ah, really? That was it? I got, obviously I'm not gonna drag him through the base with me, so I, I assume I just leave him here. Found Kessler, he's drunk out of his mind, once I've done everything I need to. Ah, oh, I have to actually come back for him. Fine. Fine. You stay here, you lousy drunk. That's one way to take out a Nazi. You remove the lower jaw. Works on both Nazis and walkers from the walking dead. Yeah, okay, I did kill him good. They were both actually further than I thought. Oh god. I don't like that look on the map. It's just a bunch of red. Oh! Oh, wow. That went south pretty quickly. Okay, I'm getting away from here. Of course, I'm standing next to a box of big and red. Alright, taking up quite a few of these guys. So that should thin the hood. Can't find anything else. No rifle ammo, that's gonna be a problem. But especially now. 
Especially now I'm reenacting D-Day. Need more bullets. Yeah, so I'm just gonna be indiscriminately killing Nazis. Anyway, yeah, what was it for? Um, yeah, so I didn't really have like a proper intro, didn't have a proper logo. Um, I did make up, so I made up like a really basic logo. It wasn't great. Uh, same with an intro, I've had a few of them over the years. Um, now I don't really put an intro in, I don't bother. Uh, I felt like I sort of just trusted the goal sort of video. If I do a music video, because sometimes I occasionally will put up like a, a gaming music video, I'll, I'll throw an intro on that show, because it's something like a three minute video, three, four minute video. But if I do something like this, it's like 40 minutes, I don't really bother. Kessler to the extraction point. So I run all the way back there. Oh my god! That was one elbow. Ooh. And I made it. Oh god, I, that was, yeah, I was touch and go. A th moment they opened fire on me with that much, like, ferocity, I just expected my health to get drained, but. They only took down two segments, two out of five. So yeah, I mean, now I just don't bother. I mean, I got like an intro. Uh, I got an intro like, you know, that I use. I got two intros and I got an, uh, like a logo. I've even got like a room to replace my PlayStation, which I quite like uh, now because I can do the videos like these using the recording function and I can do commentary. Best production. Uh, I haven't really done commentary for a while. But uh, hopefully um, that, that's changing now. Hopefully. I'll be doing commentary with all my new walkthroughs. I hope. Uh, yeah, I just need to get over my own little, my own personal sort of uh, problems, like hearing my voice and so on. Anywho, let's end this. <laughs> here I think uh, with that one thank you all for watching it means a lot to me that you even clicked on the video if you've got this far god bless you um, it does mean a lot I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time Dada guys <laughs>